Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be watching the second day of rehearsals, the exclusive rehearsal clips which straddle both semi-final one and semi-final two. These will be my first thoughts of all of these songs and I'll let you know kind of my conclusions and my likes and dislikes about all of this stuff so please stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll timestamp it for you guys and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see my reaction to day one rehearsals please see my channel page as I uploaded that just before this video. So without further ado let's get straight into this. So the first country up here is Iceland's sister with Met Hakandi Soul. So let's see what this one is like. I imagine it's going to be a sort of copy and paste effect that they had going on at the Icelandic national final. Hmm. Yeah, very similar formation to what they had at the national final. It's very charming. I think the lighting is beautiful, all these wonderful kind of orangey tones. Hmm. Okay, the split screen's quite nice, like a triptych of the three sisters. Yeah, I mean, I always knew that one was going to be strong because they're just so professional on stage. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to flop or anything, they're not going to do anything that sounds bad. So my main concern with this one is just whether it's going to stand out enough in this running order. Yes, they're in the second half, but at the same time, they might be sandwiched between stuff which just kind of shows it up slightly in terms of memorability. So I'm not entirely sure how this one's going to do. It could be a kind of jury darling and then eventually qualify with enough points in that half of the vote. So I think they've done a good job with the staging. I think it's an elevation from the national final. I thought the lighting was beautiful, the colour scheme. And, you know, they're very kind of in sync with each other. The choreography is very classic. It's not cheesy. It's also quite charming and it suits the song really well. So in that respect, I think they've done a good job here. The next country to review is Norway, Subwoofer with Give That Wolf a Banana. So let's see, this one could be a televote winner. So what have they done? Can that convince me any further? Okay, we've got Pyro cued with the music. Yeah, choreography is very good. It really kind of suits the lyrics. Okay, that's live. Pretty sure that's Ben Adams, to be honest, from A1. So I think by that microphone click that we heard, the kind of breath hitting the microphone, that was showing the audience that this is live because the problem with this act is that you can't see their mouth, right? So how do we know that they're not relying on playback? That is a clue in this rehearsal that they may not be relying on playback, which is good. But I'm not convinced throughout the whole song that they'll be singing live. You know, we're never going to know that unless they win the competition and do the winners for prize without the mask on, for instance. Regardless of that fact, it does sound good. These two blokes can sing really well and their choreography is very well put together. It looks slick. Everyone's kind of in sync with each other. The pyro really punctuating with the music in time. That looked fantastic as well. So I am absolutely convinced that this is qualifying to the final. I reckon it's going to do really well with the public. It's not going to tank with the juries because I think they will appreciate some of the qualities about this. It's not kind of stupid. It's silly but not stupid, which I've said in a previous video. So overall, I think that's pretty good. I'm not kind of blown away or over the moon about this, but I feel like this is a very good effort and they should be proud of themselves. Closing the first semi-final is Armenia. The next clip I'm going to watch, Rosalind with Snap. So let's see what this one's going to be like. I have a feeling from what I saw in the first clip that they're going to use quite a lot of toilet paper or tissue paper in the background, which means Graham Norton will definitely make a comment about this in the final if they qualify. Something like, oh, I wonder where all that toilet paper shortage from the first lockdown went. Oh, it ended up in Armenia. Look. So I'm snapping one, two. Where are you? You're still in my heart. I can't even tell but it's toilet paper or paper, you know. It looks like it's got a soft quality, but I'll shut up about the toilet paper. 
because this staging looks really good and the vocals are very nice. It feels very intimate. The camera shots are really close to her face. There's no wide shots. It feels like you're involved in the story. It feels like you're up there on stage with her. It's very warm. And I think they've nailed it actually. I don't know why I banged on about toilet paper textures. But, you know, <laughs> I think people will be wondering that obviously when they watch this performance. But I think I'm all the more convinced that this is qualifying to the final. It's a strong performance. She's got so much charisma. I think she really commands the stage presence in a very subtle way, not in an overpowering way, but definitely in a, in a way that makes you watch her and you don't t stop watching her. So that's really good. I think they've done a great job with this. So let's move on to semi-final two. So the first country opening semi-final two is Finland, the Rasmus with Jezebel. So in this case, when I saw the first rehearsal clip on TikTok, I was a little bit perturbed because um, it seems like the backing vocalist was louder than the lead vocalist, Lauri, which was strange to say the least because it's a rock band and the lead vocalist should be the person with the booming loud voice, not the backing vocalist. I just remember that rehearsal clip. It was something like the backing vocalist was, was kind of like, Yes, about, yes, it's like really you know really kind of weak sounding um lead vocals but then the backing vocalist was booming and i think in order to rectify that they really got to fix the volume control in the production side of it all if they nail that if they get that right i think this could definitely qualify but if i listen to the second rehearsal clip and i hear that the backing vocalist is louder than the live vocalist i just might you know consider this one's chances which is weird because the Rasmus are a huge band you know they're global they're very famous they've had a category of hit singles in the 2000s so this should be doing well and I'm a little bit disappointed of what I heard but let's see because I don't want to write it off and obviously my impressions might sound a bit stupid because I've had three glasses of Prosecco and yeah, I probably wouldn't have done that if I hadn't had that much to drink. Okay. I really like their staging, but I'm just listening to that vocal right now. Hmm. Okay. This is better than I thought it would be. Okay, so that did sound a lot better than I was expecting because they must have kind of had a bit more engineering and, you know, they turned the volume up of Lowry's vocals. But at the same time, you can just see he's, you know, and this is not product placement, by the way. He was just kind of going, Jezebel, like that far away. The microphone should be closer to his face so that we can get that projection because he comes across as a vocalist that has power in his voice and has a raspy tone but the projection isn't there and that backing vocalist had that projection so we need we need that loudness we need that extra volume to give this song the final impact it needs to absolutely sell through to that final that's the only thing i'm concerned about the staging looked really nice i like the yellow color scheme it looked like he was wearing a kind of yellow fisherman's costume like he was going to go jump in puddles he's outshining das samson's costume from 2006 for sure he definitely pulls off yellow better than Daz, so that's a first. Next in the running order is Israel, Michael Ben David with I Am. So let's see how this one's gone. Okay, we've got... <laughs> I mean, the vocals are really good. I just got thrown off by moving the microphone off. Okay, what I was gonna say is I was expecting the costumes to be a bit more colourful here because the song is very colourful, but they, they're all in white, like this kind of one tone. And you can hear the colour in his voice, that's the thing. His voice has so much character in it, so much 
finesse but then I think the staging here looks a little bit bare just having all this white colours it feels like it needs an extra kind of bit of colour to make it pop but the vocals really sounded great one of the best live vocals I've heard so far you know I wasn't expecting anything worse I think he is so talented honestly he's got a capability to sing and dance at the same time really well it's very convincing the only problem is the song just isn't that great and that's why this song might not qualify to the final but seeing this clip here it looks well put together it looks polished and it definitely looks better than some of the other performances i've seen in terms of its stage readiness so those are good things but like i said the song may be just not quite enough to go through so i'm not disappointed with this clip at all i just think they could have added a bit more color that's the only kind of qualm i have with this next in the running order is serbia constructor with incorpora sano so i'm excited about this one because this is possibly the quirkiest song of the year I like the red tone they had. Not sure if I would zoom out with the clapping. I would have a more intimate shot there, but that's just a minor concern. Mm. Vocally, it sounded really strong. I wasn't expecting it to be bad because obviously we've seen the national final performances. She's very strong at her live performances. So that's fantastic. Red tones in this look really strong. It looked really interesting. I think obviously the concept they've got with the hand washing and the clapping is really nice but I just think this is a short clip so obviously we might have more close-up shots but I think zooming out at the most intense moment where they're clapping like this is probably a big mistake you should be zooming in we should be invited in to this clapping we should be invited into what's going on on stage instead of kind of being shooed away by this massive zoom out that's all I have to say but I do think this is a contender to win the televote as well. I think it's a contender to be in the top 10 in the final. I think this could do really, really well. So I'm interested to see how this one does. But yeah, this is one of the strongest ones I've seen so far. So well done, Serbia. Next is Azerbaijan, Nadir Stamali with Fade to Black. So a lot of people think this one is an NQ. I actually think... He has such a beautiful voice, it's strong enough to get a really high jury mark that it could push it through to the final. So let's see what the staging's like. Yeah, I saw a picture of this kind of double staircase they've got going on, like an Escher painting. It's very similar to the thing they tried to do in 2013 with Hold Me very good vocals. How intimate is these camera shots as well? Mm. Okay, I was waiting for that chorus to come in there and they didn't deliver it to me. <laughs> yeah, that looks really promising actually. I think when we see the live performance of him hitting those really high notes, this is going to wow people. I am still convinced this is going through. Not sure how kind of comfortably it will go through because it's a very tough semi-final, but I like the contemporary effect they've got going on with this kind of mirroring choreography. I think it's really effective to have that because it just puts your attention onto the singer and then it also punctuates the message of the song. It brings in this sort of more artistic feel. So I like that. I think they've made a good choice for the staging. Azerbaijan always know how to stage things, so that's pretty good. Next is Georgia Circus Mercus with Lock Me In. Mm. This looks really cool. I like the steampunk. That choice in styling is really interesting. Yeah, the camera angles seem really quick which is good. It brings a bit of energy to the performance. Circus, Marcus. Yeah, that was very impressive. I think 
it's colourful, it's vibrant, it's full of lots of flavour as well. The camera angles being fast really marry well in with the pace of the song, the change in chords, the change in tempo they've got. So that's a very good choice that they've made there. Will this qualify? I'm still not sure. I think if one of the favourites doesn't do as well, this could actually overtake and, and end up qualifying. So I think they've done a good job with the staging. It could have been a little bit more funkier. They could have had a bit more of a circus theme, but actually I argue that this actually looks pretty good. So I've got nothing more to say. I think that's a good effort. And the next country in this lineup is Malta, Emma Muscat with I Am What I Am. So let's see how this one's gone. Not one of my favorites of the year, despite the fact that I am Maltese myself, but they could save it with the staging, you never know. Hi, Ro. Live vocals are strong. Not sure about this choreography. It's a bit sexy for a song that's about kind of body positivity, not in a sexual way, but in a self-love way. I mean, vocals sound amazing. Emma Muscat's one of those people that just can really take a song that isn't amazing, but make it amazing by her wonderful voice and her ability to add these kind of R&B style runs. So I think this is good. They've taken a song that's quite bland and they've tried to kind of make it a bit more vibrant on stage with these colours and that kind of disco ball looking dress. Choreography to me seems like it's teetering slightly on the edge, slightly on the side of being a bit too sexualized for a song that isn't supposed to be sexual. Do you know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of Portugal 2006, that kind of twee sounding song, but then you've got these women kind of like twerking on stage and it just doesn't make sense. Not to that extent, of course, this doesn't look like that. Emma's rehearsal kind of looks a bit, um, just like a little, a little bit kind of of a mismatch between the song and the choreography. But I must say the live vocals are really good. So I don't know if it's gonna qualify it's a difficult one because we know Malta always struggle in the public side of the boat. And I don't know if this song invites itself to be voted for enough, but at the same time, it looks good and it sounds good. But are they making her do too much dancing when she should be focusing on the vocal side of it? Maybe, I don't know, but it's a good effort. And I hope they've brought a piano on stage because I think that would really be a nice opening too. And finally, the last one I'm gonna be looking at today is San Marino, Achille Laro with Stripper. So let's see how this one's gone, I'm excited. What San Marino need is something that really elevates the staging because the staging at the national final wasn't quite enough. Oh, I remember seeing a picture of like a mechanical bull in the background. This looks really promising. I like the smoke. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like the cowboy aesthetic, the kind of body stocking, all the sparkles, the smoke, the cages. There's a lot of effort that's been put into this and overall it really kind of makes the song pop on stage and it gives it that extra level of memorability that it was missing before. So I think they've actually boosted their chances to qualify in this case because they've really delivered in the staging. So I am actually quite impressed with that one. I think he's got so much charisma and they've actually brought out that side of it more now with the staging. He takes up and commands all that space it's a huge stage and just him on his own he he just commands it so that's fantastic so a little summary then i think my biggest disappointment today i'm gonna have to say malta to be honest that's my biggest disappointment because even though it sounded good i just think the choreography didn't work with the overall vision of the song my biggest grower i would say is probably israel i think they're staging looked pretty good. And my favourite of the day, I'd say a tie between Armenia and San Marino, to be honest. I think they both sounded 
really really good and maybe a kind of honourable mention has to go to Azerbaijan because the vocal sounded almost perfect just like the studio version. So those are my initial thoughts on the rehearsals today, let me know down below what you guys think and stay tuned because I'll be watching the next lot of rehearsals tomorrow and I hope you have a good evening. Bye!